Okay, so this says a porcupine, right? It's an interesting fact, but look at this. It's a tailed porcupine, and it's from, looks like, uh, the northern eastern side of South America. I didn't lie, there it is in green, right? That's South America. Now, it looks like porcupines in America, in North America, I'm always seeing them on the side of the road or like somewhere on the land, right? They're definitely on the ground. This one says tailed porcupine. Why would a porcupine have a tail? Hold on, hold on. There he be. He's not on the ground. He's up in a tree. Hold on, where he be? He's not on the ground. He's in a tree. He's got a tail even. He's a porcupine. Now that seems more dangerous than a snake in a tree or a monkey in a tree because a porcupine, we all know, has quills. And quills usually get like thrown at people when they attack. Now, if he's up in a tree, that seems pretty dangerous. It like flies down, flies up, flies everywhere, right? He can jump down with his tail and whack you in the head, probably. I don't know, I just made that up. Let's see what it actually says. Interesting fact, prehensile-tailed porcupines are adapted to climbing with feet modified to grip around branches and a prehensile tail from which they can hang to reach food items. Ah, the tail's not even for balance or hanging, it's for food items. He grabs it with like an extra arm. It's got like four legs and an extra arm with the tail. It's like a trunk of an elephant. Region, North, South America. What does an elephant never do? It never forgets. I wonder if this tail thing never forgets. Diet, leaves, fruits, tree bark, vegetation, habitat, defense, forest areas. Well, we can read on and on, that's fine, whatever but I'm not gonna read everything. There's too much to do here, right? So, it's like an elephant with that tail. So it's on the back end, not the front end. It looks like it is using it though for gripping because it's around the tree trunk. I mean, if it can grab a fruit or a vegetable or something, it can grab a branch to hang onto too, I think. You think it like swings like a monkey? I don't know, I'm not gonna be here long enough to find out. But check it out, we're at the aquarium. There's cool stuff in here. Like this porcupine that I would have never known if I didn't pay the price to come in here and find out and spend a little time reading. That one I actually read because I like found him up in the tree. I was like, wait a minute. And he had a tail. Something wasn't adding up. Something didn't make sense. It was like I was being lied to all my life. Like porcupines didn't have tails. And they didn't climb trees, but this one does. And he's not from North America. It's from a whole nother continent. Really cool. And I don't know what this screeching noise thing is, is it the, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a toucan. There he be, he's making noises. He wants to be heard, he's talking away. I hear you talking away. He's talking away. He's totally talking. I didn't do that, he did that. Oh, he shut up. Oh, it must have been the thing on the, oh. He's listening to the TV over here. He hears the sounds, he must hear something like a mating call. Is that is it a mating call? You trying to reproduce or she or whatever? I don't even know if it's a she or he. What is this thing? Is it a toucan? Find out if I was right. Rainbow build toucan. I was right. I didn't even read it. I just came over here, heard it like billowing or whatever, croaking. Look at that thing. That's from the west coast of uh, northern South America and Central America. It's pretty cool.